Welcome to season three of Construction Week in Focus, CW's bi-weekly video series covering a wide range of key issues every week across the region's built environment. My name is Jack Ball, Senior Reporter at Construction Week, and today I turn our attentions to Expo 2020 Dubai, and more specifically the Route 2020 Rail Network, which will serve the mega event. According to an announcement over the weekend by Dubai's Road and Transport Authority, or RTA as it's more commonly known, construction on Dubai Metro's extension to the Expo 2020 Dubai site through its red line called Route 2020 is 70% complete. Route 2020 spans 15 kilometers from the Kiel Harbour and Tower Station to World Expo site and comprises 11.8 kilometers of elevated and 3.2 kilometers of underground track. Rail track work Route 2020, according to RTA's announcement in March this year, was 80% complete, while stations for the development are 50 to 60% complete. Such details were revealed by RTA's Director General and Chairman of the Board of Executive Directors, His Excellency Matar Al Taya, who toured Route 2020's site with the Chief Executive Officer of RTA's Rail Agency and the Executive Director of RTA's Rail Planning and Projects Development Team. All work for Route 2020 is due to complete by May this year and test runs will be carried out by RTA in February 2020. The Expo 2020 Dubai station being built within Route 2020 is more than 50% complete with 90% of its metal structures installed. Work is underway to install the station's gold-rimmed winged metal canopy structure with electromechanical activities also 30% completed. Route 2020's Expo station comprises a ground mezzanine concourse and extends from Expo Village and Expo Mall in the west to Expo Yard towards the east. The concourse's central corridor will link pedestrian movement between both sides of the station, which is designed to handle passengers during Expo 2020 Dubai, which opens its doors on the 20th of October 2020. Expo Station has a capacity of 522,000 passengers per day in both directions. Route 2020's Al Furjan Station is almost 57% complete, with electromechanical progress at 25%. External cladding has been installed for the station, and its roof cladding and metal structure have also been installed. Nakheel Harbour and Tower Station, a transfer stop between Dubai's Metro's Red Line and Route 2020, is more than 50% complete, RTA said, according to Dubai Media Office, that the station's metal structure has been installed and work is proceeding on its roof cladding. Work is also underway to install the footbridge linking Nakheel Harbour and Tower Station with the parking area. Nakheel Harbour and Tower Station features a design similar to existing Dubai Metro stations in order, and I quote, to maintain the identity and appearance of stations on the Sheikh Zayed Road, end quote. That is, of course, the highway that runs parallel to many of the Red Line's stations. However, as the DMO report explained, Nakheel Harbour and Tower Station's interiors are planned to handle more passengers than the Red Line stations managers at present, while also taking into consideration environmental sustainability concerns. With just over a year and a half until Expo 2020 Dubai opens its doors to the world on the 20th of October, we can certainly expect further updates on this vital part of the event's infrastructure, so stay tuned. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We will now publish new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, including those from our sister titles, you can click the subscribe button just down below or visit our YouTube channel Construction Week for more great videos. And if there's any topic that you'd like us to discuss in another episode, do please get in touch. Our contact details are down below in the description box. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.